everybody. Welcome to class today. My name is Kayla Brugger. Today we're going to be focusing on our lower body. We've got a weightless leg workout and I'm going to call this ballet legs today. So we're going to start standing. Again, like I said, everything is body weight. So really the only thing you need is your mat. So let's go ahead and get started in a nice wide-legged stance. Heels are going to be in, toes are slightly out. Let's pull those lower abdominals in and up, stack your shoulders right over your hips, and then just gently let your hands rest down on your hips here. We're gonna begin with 10 plie squats. So go ahead and take it down. Inhale and exhale as you come up. I'm gonna press those knees out and back so we can start to feel our inner thighs and our glutes beginning to activate here. Chest stays up, so you're really working your butt straight down and straight back up on that exhale. Give me five more. Four. Here's three, squeeze those glutes, two, and one more. Now we're gonna add five pulses at the bottom, three rounds of five, these go quick. Down an inch, up an inch, four, three, two, one, all the way up, take it right back down, here's five, four, three, two, one, right back up, one more time, five, four, three, two, one, one and right back up. Now I'm gonna have you come down, lower into that plie squat, lift your right heel, lift your left heel, anchor both heels and stand back up. Good, lower right lifts, left lifts, and stand it right back up, good. Three more, leading with that right side and back up. Two, keep those tummy muscles in, those shoulders set back. We should really be feeling the glutes starting to turn on here. Those inner thighs are beginning to fire. Now we're gonna lead with the left, up with the left, up with the right, and exhale to the top. Good, another four. Exhale to the top. Woo, starting to feel those quads as well. Exhale, you've got it, last two. I'm sure you figured out that we're gonna add the pulses as well. So let's finish that last one coming all the way up. I'm gonna take it down. You're gonna lift your right heel, pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Anchor down, stand up. Lower, lift the left. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heel and stand it back up. Ooh, two more sets each side. Five, four, three, two, one. Anchor those heels, use your glutes to stand. Oh my gosh, it is starting to burn. Three, two, one and up, last set each side, right heel, pulsing, pulsing, three, two, one, anchor to stand, one more time with that left heel, five, four, three, two, one, and stand, oh my goodness, all right, we're gonna go into a double heel raise now, so come down, both heels lift, anchor and stand, both heels down, lift, lower, and stand, your feet might, slide out a little too wide, and it might um, alter your hip positioning. So if you need to stand up and reset like I just did, could tell that I wasn't able to get into my glutes anymore and I was feeling my knees a little bit too much. So if you need to stand up and reset, please do so. All right, let's continue. Eight, seven, definitely starting to feel some heat building in the body now. Don't forget about those abdominal muscles. Keep contracting them in. Good, we've got five more. And then you've guessed it, we're gonna add those pulses again for another three rounds of five pulses in three and two. One more, good. All right, now we come down, both heels up, we pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Anchor those heels as you stand. How low can you go? Five, four, three, two, one. Anchor and stand, woo! Heels up, five, four, three, two, one. One, anchor and stand. Oh my goodness, step those feet together. Let's give those legs a little bit of a shake. Okay. After all, this is Pilates, so you know our main focus is moving our body from the core out. So we're gonna come back into that wide position here, heels and toes out. I want you to take your arms up, big stretch, and then take your hands behind your head. On your exhale, we're gonna drop down into your squat, press your knees back, Take a deep breath in here and then draw your elbows and your chest wide and pull those tummy muscles in. Now on your exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. 
Inhale back to center. Stay low, so try not to let those hips rise or lower as you're coming into that side crunch. We're trying to get a nice side body stretch as long and, and along with oblique of activation. Exhale and inhale, stack. Exhale, there's that side bend. Press those knees back. Inhale, stack. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to stack. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to stack. One more each side. Exhale, keep pressing those knees back. Woo, really feeling those glutes. Back to center and rise, good. Step your feet in a little closer and more parallel here. Inhale, release those arms, and then again, take them up. And let's just take a nice forward roll down here, melting forward into a nice stretch. And then slowly begin to stack all the way back up. Arms overhead, and hands are gonna, again, return behind your head. Elbows nice and wide here, along with the feet. Drop it back down into that squat. We're gonna add a double heel raise here. So a little bit more balance and control now. Deep breath in, exhale, side squeeze. Inhale back to center. You're gonna have to move a little slower in that side squeeze because your balance is being really challenged. So your ankles are gonna be moving all about here. Chest up, elbows wide, exhale. And inhale, beautiful, three more each side. Oh my gosh, those thighs are burning, glutes are firing. Exhale, two more, exhale, inhale, and exhale. You know that means two more each side. Last one, finish to your left, back to center, anchor those heels, and exhale to stand. I'm gonna have you stand, stay wide with your feet, just turn your toes forward a little bit. Again, inhale, those arms are gonna come up. Exhale, let's come into that forward stretch here. So a little bit more of a straddle position. You may need to bend your knees a little bit to get your hands all the way down to the ground, and that's just fine. Now go ahead and walk your hands over to your right foot. Grab hold of your right ankle, kind of reaching back behind it. Bend your elbows, pulling yourself into a little bit deeper stretch here. Let your head hang heavy if you need to release tension in your neck or shoulders at all. Just kind of let everything go loose. Let gravity take over a little bit there. One more breath in and breath out. Walk your hands over to the other side, grabbing onto your ankle, let everything hang heavy. Again, shake the head, relax the arms, breathe into the backs of the legs, into the back of the body. Deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead and come back to center here. And then slowly, gently restack your spine all the way up to stand here. Good, step your feet together. And now you're gonna make your way down onto your side body here. I'm gonna have you prep yourself up on your elbow and forearm. Go ahead and make sure your knees, hips, and ankles are stacked. So you wanna take your hand on your hip just to kind of feel the hips are stacked. Take a look down. So you're almost at a 90 degree bend in your hip, 90 degree bend in your knee here. Take your top hand now in front of your chest on the floor versus on your hip. You're gonna flex your feet and you're gonna take your top leg up and down. Good. So the top leg is lifting parallel with the floor. So we're not lifting the knee up. We're not externally rotating here, parallel. Lift and lower. Make sure your bottom shoulder and elbow are not sinking into your ear. Push down and away and into the mat. Good. Give me five more of these lifts. Now we're really gonna start to target into the abductors. Hopefully your outer and upper glute are gonna begin to fire here with just this simple lift and lower. One more time, we are gonna add on. Lower it back down. Now give me a lift to hover. You're gonna kick your leg forward, bend it back in, and set it down. Lift, kick, bend, set it down. Beautiful, lift, kick, bend, set it back down. Two more of those, bend, set it down. One more, lift, kick, bend, and set it back down. Again, we're gonna add on. Now we're gonna swing like a pendulum after we do that kick. So we lift, kick, swing back, Swing forward, bend, set it down. Good, up, kick, swing like a pendulum, back, forward, 
then set it down. Now one thing to pay attention to, as that leg swings like a pendulum back, that we're not dropping the chest forward. So stay in a nice straight line here. That's gonna really challenge your stability. Forward, bend, set it down. We've got two more. Woo! All right, starting to feel crampy on that top glute. Swing like a pendulum, bend, set it down. One more time, up, kick, swing, forward, bend, set it back down. Now we've got 10 swings. We come up, kick, swing, 10, nine, eight, squeeze that hamstring and glute, seven, six, five, it's burning, four, three, two, and one more. Swing it forward, bend, set it down. Oh my goodness, isn't that amazing how quickly that fires up that top glute? Go ahead and transition onto your back here. I want you to bend your knees and pull your heels as close to your tushy as you can while maintaining your feet together. Okay. Um, knees are gonna go out slightly. And again, we're still targeting the glutes, but just a different part of our glutes. So more where the hamstring and seat connect right at the crease of your seat. So you're under butt. So you're gonna start to roll your spine up off the mat like a caterpillar. Nice and gently begin to roll. I really want you to pinch your under butt. So really squeeze those glutes. Now look down, make sure your tummy is nice and tight here. Squeeze the booty and then slowly roll the spine back down without those feet coming apart. Your knees are wide. You might feel a little crampy in your calves, which is normal because we're up on our tippy toes. Roll the spine like a caterpillar, lifting up bone by bone, flat belly at the top. Really squeeze it so we get that full hip extension. Draw your rib cage in and roll the spine back down. Let's do that one more time before we add on. Lifting here, squeeze and pull and drag the spine back into the mat. Next one, we're gonna come up and we're gonna add those pulses at the top. Squeeze the seat, pulse the hips up. Five, four, three, two, one. Rolling the spine back down. Again, peeling your way up. That spinal articulation feels so good. Pulse and squeeze it. Five, four, three, two, one. And melt it down one more time like that. Peeling your way up, hold that lift and pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rolling out, knees hug to your chest, grab onto your shins, take a little gentle rock from side to side. And then we're gonna gently rock up and down the length of your spine, just kind of massaging out the back here, rolling back and forth. And eventually you're gonna come all the way up onto your seat. I'm gonna have you swing your legs to the other side and then we're gonna lie down in that 90-90, setting off the other side. Shoulder, elbow positioned right in a line here. Again, remember we wanna be pushing down so we're not sinking that shoulder into the ear. Okay, feet are flexed, tummy is in, chest is open. Think about lengthening your torso as you lift up and down. Up and down, stay level and parallel versus turn out here. Good, starting to feel and focus on that abductor. Really squeeze that upper outer glute. And we've got five and four. Each sequence we're building upon the next exercise. Two and one. Now we add that straight leg kick. Up, extend, bend, bring it back in. Up, extend, bend, pull it back in. Up, extend, Bend, bring it back in, beautiful. Two more, Woo, starting to feel that. Quads getting involved too. Bend and back in, now we add that pendulum swing. Up, extend, swing back, forward, bend, bring it back in. Up, extend, pull it, forward, bend, and back in. Three more, lift, kick, swing like a pendulum, bend, and back in. Remember to keep your torso nice and steady. We don't want the chest or the shoulders to be rocking back and forth. Here's our last one. And then we're go in, going into 10 pendulum swings here. Up, kick, swing it back, forward. There's 10, foot is flexed, nine, 
Squeeze that glute, eight. Keep those tummy muscles in. Don't let your guts spill out, six. Five, chest stays open. Drive that bottom elbow into the mat, four. Three, you got this, two. Woo, it's burning. Last one, bend and bring it in. Oh my goodness, that second side is always so much harder than the first side. Make your way down onto your back one more time here. Those heels again, pull them as close as you can to your seat. Your knees are gonna open here. We're gonna come back into those bridge lifts. So begin to roll your spine up again, lifting, working the articulation. Keep your chin tucked so you can see your tummy. So we don't wanna be flaring the ribs or arching the back at all. We wanna feel the hip extension come from the glutes again. Your under butt versus your outer butt. Lift and lower, melting the spine back into the mat. One more with just this articulation in the bridge. And now instead of pulsing the glutes up, we're gonna pulse the knees wide for five. Out, five, four, three, two, one. Rolling the spine back down. Keep those heels together if you can. Keep those feet touching. Rolling the spine back up. Squeeze it at the top. Keep that tuck and pulse it. Five, out, four, out, three, out, two, out, one rolling the spine back down. One more time, peeling your way up. Last time, pulse it out. Five, out, four, out, three, out, two. Lift a little higher on one and roll it down. Good, separate your feet hip width distance apart. Let your arms go out to a T here. Let your knees just sway over to the right. Turn your head gently to the left. Come back to center. Let your knees sway over to the left and turn your head to the right and back to center. Good, let's just keep swaying those knees right and left. One more time each side. Nice low back release, a nice little stretch into the psoas between the rib and hip. Come back to center here. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and now reach for the back of your left leg for a nice hip stretch here. Ooh, that also feels really good in the right glute. After all that glute work that we did in that sideline position, pull in just a little bit more and now go ahead and release the cross of the right ankle and we're gonna switch sides. Left ankle over right, lift the right foot up so you can grab the back of the right leg here. Ooh, that feels so nice. Generally, we have one side that might be a little bit tighter than the other, so no worries if this side is a little bit more stiff for you like it is for me. Just do your best to take a couple extra deep breaths, directing your inhale into that tension and using your exhale to soften around those edges. Good, let's go ahead and release. Make your way on up to your seat. And what I'm gonna have you do now is bend your right knee. So your right knee is more forward, and now you're gonna cross your right an left ankle over your right thigh. Now we're gonna take more piriformis stretch here. So the knee is more upright versus folded down, and you're gonna hug the opposite arm around the knee, and the goal is to draw the opposite knee to the opposite shoulder, while we add a nice little spinal rotation here. Looking back, ooh, such a good stretch again in that outer glute and the not to mention that beautiful rotation, really releasing into the lower back. Take that last exhale out, come forward, and then let's switch the legs so you can lean back, give yourself a little space. Left knee is bending forward to the ground, now right, Ankle is gonna cross over left thigh. Hug the knee to opposite shoulder as you add that spinal rotation, opposite hand, reaching to the floor behind you, taking that nice twist. Good, and again, wanna hold for about 30 seconds here. Really feeling that deep stretch while you breathe deeply in and out of your nose. Again, using your inhales to almost visualize and direct the breath into the body where it feels most tight and then using the exhales to soften around that rigidness, releasing tension in the body.
Finish that next exhale and go ahead and release out of that stretch, uncrossing your legs. And just sit crisscross applesauce like a pretzel here, nice and tall. Do one final big breath in, reach those arms up overhead. And then exhale, go ahead and press away. Great job, everybody.